Introducing combatant number two. He weighs in at 210 pounds and is fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio. He is a former two-time AIW Intense Division Champion, the whole shopping Johnny Gargano. Well, I'll tell you what that means, Wadsworth. No disqualifications means that we are guaranteed a winner. Finally, we will know who the AIW absolute champion is. Wadsworth, if I had to ask you point blank, who's your odds on favorite? I'll tell you what, it's a tough call. You've got so much experience in there. You've got two former intense division champions. You've only got one man that's held the AIW absolute title. But I don't know that we have ever seen a force in absolute intense wrestling like No Mercy Tommy Mercer has become. So put on the spot point blank. There's a reason you've got three planning against one right now. The favorite's got to be No Mercy. I'm surprised after the storied history we've seen between Facade and Gargano that these guys are, are actually going to be able to put their differences aside. I'll tell you what, a little bit of planning. We thought the best strategist in this match, the most experienced, the best well thought out, most well educated Sterling James Keenan appears to be the one to have fallen for the ploy. Trying to organize everyone against Tommy Mercer, and he finds himself left one on one with no mercy. And right now, the three of them just teeing off on SJK. Okay, two of them teeing off on SJK. Now we saw all four of these guys in a tag team match at From Dust Till Dawn, shown at youtube.com slash AI Wrestling. And now sending Gargano shoulder first into Tommy Mercer is facade. And let's not forget, I mean these guys are out here, they know what's on the line, that absolute title. No disqualification, no count out. I mean you're gonna see an absolute war. But well, these guys have got to try to rest up. There's a reason this got moved from the main event until just now. Because whoever wins this match still has to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the world, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. But right now, Facade set over the top, landing on the rope, looking for a springboard, and all he finds is Gargano's left hand. Here we go, you see Facade with that well-placed kick. A very unique springboard driving Johnny Gargano face down to the mat. And this is the perfect time to go for a pinfall when there's no other wrestlers in the ring. He's doing just that. 
Johnny managing to kick out, but SJK measuring him up and now just mocking him. I said it before, only one man in this matchup has been absolute champion before. None of them has the experience and the caliber, the number of title belts, the number of reigns in his past that Sterling James Keenan has. SJK by far the most decorated competitor in this matchup. The man's held belts all over the world. But is he gonna hold the belt here tonight in Cleveland, Ohio? And if he's able to win, defeat three other opponents right now, is he gonna be able to go on to defeat Brian Danielson later on tonight? And Johnny Gargano taken down. Bad strategy to go for a submission in a match like this. But that leaping, and again with a second knee, followed by that spinning back kick. But Gargano again, there are three other competitors besides yourself. You take out one, you still gotta worry about the others. Fasad hitting the ropes, ducks the Lariat attempt, springboard, and all he eats is a drop kick. How difficult is it gonna be to get a pinball in this contest? But I'll tell you what, look at the strategy. Look how smart Gargano was there. He could have taken the time to bask in the chance and the cheers of the crowd, but instead he went right for the pin. But Tommy Mercer was right there, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. Mercer with the moonlight bomb. I called him one of the most dominating superstars we've seen in absolute intense wrestling. I mean, history. this guy debuted in December. He's here he is in June with, a, with an opportunity to become the absolute champion. Indeed, the guy's been here six months. Six months later, he's competing for the AIW Absolute title in Absolution 5. And the biggest show in absolute intense wrestling history. Well, if Tommy Mercer is able to become the absolute champion tonight. Who's gonna be able to stop this guy? Nobody's been able to stop him yet. You think Brian Danielson's gonna be able to stop him? Now Mercer squaring up. And look at Fasad looking for a Rona. And nothing doing! Are you kidding me? Johnny Gargano breaking up the pin attempt on both occasions. Gargano in there, as you said, he was quick to break up both pinfalls after that combination slam power bomb on a Tommy Mercer. Johnny Gargano, a two-time intense division champion, but no times has he held that absolute title. SJK pulling Mercer to the outside, perhaps gonna use his environment to his advantage. No! SJK just thrown into the barricades. Just hurled into the barricades. And what is Tommy Mercer up in front of us? The rope walk from Facade. My God! SJK getting out, and we think about it. 
Say Tommy Mercer manages to recover. He's laid out right now. Say he recovers. Say he gets back in the ring. Say he wins the absolute title. What's he going to do in the main event with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson? How do you recover from this to defend your title against the best in the world? Triple jump moonsault. Don't even try it.